Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game in the bottom of the left-hand corner of the map. Our Zerg player today, he's going to be facing off against a couple of Protosses, maybe a Terran, but he'll kick it all off here with a ZVP on Katayena, Catalina, however you want to say it. Doesn't really matter, it doesn't change the fact that he is our Zerg player, Jon Snow. Jon Snow. With that scary little lion. Look at that lion that he's got. That's a freaking lion. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, it's like oh, a damn. lion starfish <laughs> shirukin. <laughs> well, his opponent, Cookie, is going to be spawning in the northern section of the map, Catalina, representing Root. You know him as Chad. Mother, insert something there. Jones, it is the Blue Protoss player. Minigun. I like that you kept it uh, PC for all the kitties out there. <laughs> Patron.com. Hey man, you know the uh, ASL appeals to all ages. You know, we're right around that time where, like, if you have a bedtime, yeah, like you know, ten or eleven or so on the East Coast, you can watch the first few matches and then watch the vods later. But if you're on the West Coast, late good. night ASL. Yep. Yeah, man. Still so real man. early out here. Super but uh, what do we got here? A ZVP first off. Uh, between Minigun and Jon Snow, you know, two North American players. Uh, I like it. Let's see how it actually does pan out. I'm sure they meet each other quite a bit. I mean, Minigun is... I don't know what his rank is right now, of course, but he is no stranger to that number one position on the North American GM ladder. Yeah, uh, and like... Jon Snow is the type of player that absolutely could find his way into Premier League um, yep. with the upcoming seasons. Like, oh, you yeah. gotta remember, he made it into Challenger League, and mm -hmm. in the in the round of 32, I mean, there were six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Koreans. Yeah. Um. This is a guy who could absolutely make his way into Premier League next season. Yeah, especially yeah, with the recent lock going down. down. That season. Yeah. So, But uh, Jon Snow looking to get a bit aggressive here. These aren't the only links that are going to be made. Speed will be finishing. It's about four-fifths of the way done. Minigun may not know exactly that this is coming, but Jon Snow is going to actually go for this, but he's wasting a lot of time, you know? Well, he's going to get this Nexus pretty much for sure at this point. Um, we were talking about... Uh, this with a blizzard poll the other day, you know, when is it okay to cheese and one of the options was um, Against a s opponent an opponent who is more skilled than you Yeah, uh, or against a better opponent, you know, because you can use it as a factor to kind of roll the dice Whoa. Oh my god, the links. a couple links get into the main. They're focusing down the sentry and Nice job the bring around the rosy there yeah. alive. But uh, yeah, this Nexus is in a bit of trouble here. There's not enough for a Photon Overcharge, and there really just aren't any units here for Minigun. Yeah, so he's going to lose the Nexus yeah. here. But at least he didn't lose the game. You know, there, all the Zerglings weren't with that pack, so only three managed to get in the main. The Nexus does fall. The Zealot on the low ground is in trouble. And these oh my god, he's still going. The high ground. Now yeah, he's going point, all in with this, man. Yeah, I mean, what, is, what do you do from here? You drone? Like, you I drone, mean, you're so behind on tech. Yeah. Uh, it's already a stargate out for your opponent, and you haven't even, you know, really started gathering gas beyond the initial 100. And he's got to keep pushing here. Going for a star tail life kind of push down. He may... Oh, he's going to get this cyber core. Force field Ooh. goes down. The cyber core, he doesn't know. He can actually still hit that with one zergling. It only has 19 hit points. Four hits? A major blow if he lets Warp Gate finish. John oh, Snow yeah, you're right. Critical error. He actually could have killed this cyber core. Like... There was not enough. Uh, there was not enough energy. The sentry oh. still only had one force field remaining. You can't block that whole thing with one force field. Yeah, you would have had it perfectly. There was no energy, as he did mm -hmm. say. And now warp gate. He probably didn't realize how close it was, and now there's enough energy here. Yeah. And now the cyber core will go down, but he could have done this about 15 seconds ago. And the oracle is gonna come out, and hey, you know it's pretty good against Ling's was that uh, pulsar beam. So, I think minigun. You know he's had a really nice wall off, and he's perfectly fine with being on one base. Um, as he is up by nine probes to the uh, 22, uh, 31 probes yeah. to 22 drones. I and now, like you're saying, what does he do? Drone up? Like, yeah. If Jon Snow know. had gotten Warp Kate, maybe he wins this. Like, not positive, but 
it would be so hard for Minigun to get his, you know, gateway reinforcements out. But now, like, how do you break this down? There are about to be five, yeah, there's gonna be five warp gates. Minigun has, uh, 200 gas get here. Get him an Oracle. He also, uh, took a co couple of drones out at the main of Jon Snow. At the natural, rather. Took out the queen as well. Lings are gonna try here, but look at the supply, Kibbles, yeah. man. Even Minigun no feeling way. so confident that he force fields the Lings in. They're not going anywhere. GG well played will be called Jon Snow Falls. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on game number two of the first match of the day in Group B of the round of 16 ASL Prime League. And uh, spawning in the top right corner is that blue Protoss player up one game, hoping to seal the deal in a quick 2-0 fashion. Representing root for root, it is... Minigun. His opponent in the bottom left corner he is down one and is trying to get his hatchery down but this pesky probe says otherwise it is the solaris player john snow all right well it looks like the hatchery will finally go down as Minigun is going to hop on into the main, check Return. for gases, com. make Forward sure the pool ASL. is complete, and he'll head back home as uh, he throws down a forge and likely a gateway right behind it. Nice greedy opening here. Not uh, not so greedy that he opted, go opted to go gateway before forge, but still pretty uh, up there. Yeah. yeah, and he knows exactly. Uh, he should be able to hold it, even if he send the lings across the map. Um, with a few probes and even a temporary pylon, you can hold any kind of annoying lings getting into your base even four lings getting in can really be annoying and uh start to mess with your mining and force you to use your attention on that but minigun's probably used to this i mean this is pretty standard stuff ever since even wings of liberty the timing of that pool unless it's like a seven pool or a ten pool but that probe of minigun was able to go in there and uh wow the little body block did you see that with the uh with the probe, with the even, probe. he pushed it yeah really nice move yeah, a, a little bit of a thing from Jon Snow, though, as he is focusing so much on that micro, it looks like he actually ne like neglected to make a queen in his main. He's still not making it, and this makes it that, although this natural expansion is ready, he actually could have started a queen a really, really long time ago. Um, so I'm it's curious, like and it Look looks... What he's doing. Yeah, he's going for slow links. Um, there is now a zealot on the way, however. Yeah. We'll see. It's a gamble from him, and this is why you know we didn't see... The other queen. Um, exactly. This he's reminds just me a little bit of Zenio. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say he just used the uh, the queen. He's, I mean, he skipped the queen and decided to just make a bunch of links, and he's continuing to do so. So let's see. The cybernetic core is finished. The next unit though is gonna be a stalker. So that right. actually could be very good here for. Uh, Here's John the thing Snow. though. Minigun didn't center his zealot when he held. Oh no! It. You were yeah. right. So this is gonna be, is Minigun looking when these Zerglings come in? He sees them on the minimap, Zealot, he touches it, and it's good enough. That position yeah. is close enough that it's gonna work. Indeed, and immediately a gateway goes up behind this pylon. A full wall off, the probe might lose its life here, but it is gonna take a lot to get through this wall here of Minigun. It's not gonna happen. Like, there's no way that this is going to work from, uh... <laughs> From Jon Snow's perspective, the Zerglings, the Zealot still was alive there. Yeah. Uh oh, sent so you on the wrong side of the world. Left. Ah, he's fine. He'll throw it on a force field. Yeah. But here comes more Lings, man, and uh, waiting till the last second, indeed. And with his mothership core coming out eventually, with that cannon firing down on all of these Lings, it is going to be very hard for Jon Snow to break through this. And uh, he's going to continue to try though, because there's nothing but slow Lings moving across the map right now. He should be able to get that sentry, assuming he goes for it. He just pops Three it, right? Yeah, points. even that added DPS is very important, but... <laughs> yeah, there's no way these links get through here. I mean, Minigun can go ahead and sacrifice his uh, minerals into these pylons because he feels like he's at an economic advantage. He's continuing to make yeah. probes. And if there's nothing but links coming, what do you got here for Jon Snow? 14. That's the magic number for him today on his drone count, and uh, it's not really a lucky one. Just magic does not necessarily mean that... It is uh, actually good magic. It's, it's bad voodoo, Kibbles. It's bad voodoo. <laughs> it's not often that uh, I compare things 